boy King Brando and today I'm coming at you with another reaction video and it's to, well it's not a reaction video, it's a review, my bad. It's to the Grownish Review, Episode 7, Unbreak My Heart. This was so dope, this was a great episode, this was a great episode, I love the episode. Zoe, thank God you ain't call him, thank God you ain't call him, cause that mean that I was right. I was right. This was a two to three week relationship. I knew it. I know it's gonna be a two, three week relationship, and it's really over now. And Aaron, bro, stop dry snitching! You dry snitched, bro! You dry snitched! Talking about, oh man, you don't know? You don't know? You don't know? Bro, you know she ain't know, man. I, I saw her do it. I would've did it too. I ain't even finna lie. I would've did it too. But uh, yeah, man, this was a great episode. I'm, I'm, I'm eager to get into this, and make sure y'all live tweet with me next week, okay? Live tweet with me, okay? Okay? Let's get into this review. Episode 7 of Gronish, Unbreak My Heart. This episode was dope. Yeah. Take me to the truth. So, this episode starts off with Zoe being in her room. She ain't left that room in three weeks. How you ain't leave room in three weeks? I, I just don't understand. Her whole bed was covered with popcorn, chips, all type of stuff. She just had a computer watching all them old romantic stuff. She probably was watching a notebook, all them, all that other little, 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 little um, stuff that make you little, you know, that make it worse. It never makes it better. Never makes it better. But she was doing that, and then the girls came in. They're like, you know, what's up, Zoe? Zoe, what you, what you doing? What you doing? So they basically want to cheer up, because, you know, that's what good friends do, y'all. That's what good friends do. Um, so they're like, you know, you got to get over this. You know, you ain't been outside in three weeks, man. You ain't going outside today. I know. I know. Um, and they trying to, you know, the whole point of this episode was for them to help her get over her breakup. Other than when, you know, Aaron was dry snitching. I don't know why he was dry snitching. I mean, I knew why he was dry snitching. But still, you know, it, 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 it's, it's just... It's no point. So they end up consoling her, you know, and the power goes out. And, you know, this one's thing start to get a little hectic, you know. This, this one stuff really go down because this one we get to the nitty gritty uh, episode. So they start drinking and talking about, you know, like exes and stuff. And Anna, you are a mystery to me. You are crazy. Like, what What do you well, your fa your whole Your whole family is just crazy. Like, what? Incest. That's incest, okay? For real. You talk to all your cousins and your uncles and all that. That's some nasty stuff. It's really some nasty stuff. But they get to drinking and stuff. You know, they talking about their exes and how they get over them and all that stuff. And I'm like, you know, th this is probably helping her until they find out she's still talking to Cash. That is, that, that was the bad part. That was really the bad part. They really give her great advice. They're like, you know, it take it take time, but you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get out there. Um, so, you know, they make her drink to numb the pain and the girls try to kill Cash. And I'm like, dang, for real? It's like that? I mean, like, he... he he chose his career, man. What else y'all expect for him to do? Like, he's finna go to the league. Number one pick. Like, I don't get, I really don't, I, I don't get why they were so mad at him. But at the same time, it's like, it's their friend. I, I, I kind of get it. But at the same time, it's like, you know, y'all kind of being a little selfish because y'all ain't thinking of what he want or anything like that. That, that was the point that I, I kind of got through this episode. And so, how they get Zoe to, you know, um, get over cash or their way of her getting over cash is to think of all of the bad stuff that that he says and does and all that stuff and this was a funny part of the episode because she was like you know when we're texting he never knows the difference between like the i think it was the your and the your and the in the you you whatever y'all know what y'all know what it was okay and that was funny because i'm like what who thinks of that that's when you really know you're not trying to get over nobody when you think of like the littlest stuff, like that's the littlest stuff, like you knew she was still hooked on him after that. You knew she was still hooked on him because who's going to think of, of that when you, like who, who really cares about that? Do y'all care about that? No one cares about that. <laughs> and um, yeah, and it's basically like, you know, them give, they actually gave her really good advice. You know, never text an ex and all that stuff. That's, that's why stuff get hectic because I forgot to tell y'all she was still texting cash for three weeks. Oh, I put up two fingers. Three weeks. Three weeks. They were still texting like they was cool and stuff. Because in the back of her mind, she like, you know, maybe if we still texting, maybe he'll, you know, come to his senses or whatever. And like, you know, try to be with her again, which I am not a fan of. I, I hated their relationship. I don't know why y'all love their relationship. But I didn't because I knew it wasn't going to last long. I knew it wasn't going to last long. It's either Luca or Aaron, and it's really looking like just Aaron, cause where was Luca? Luca 
going in. Luca barely been in the show. He was he was like a, he played a great role in the first two episodes, and after that, like we on episode seven, and that dude we need we need an APB out on him because he has not been back. Like he been back for like a little bit when when he told Zoe about Cash family or whatever. But other than that, like, the, he, he ain't really been here. Like, you're supposed to be a part of the triangle. It can't be a triangle if you ain't there. Then it's just a line. It's just a line. It's just them two, you know? I was, I was trying to think of shapes, but ain't no ain't no shapes with, like, just two things. It's just lines. It's just, it's just line. But, like, you're supposed to, the, the, the point of a triangle, of a love triangle, is for you to be there, bro. You have to be there, okay? You gotta make this interesting. Because we, like, we ain't had no good, you know, Ah, laughs in a long time. Just like two people button heads and button heads. Like the second episode was so amazing, y'all. Like, like the episodes that Luca was in was amazing because we got laughter that we re like. It's 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 a different type of laughter because they both like her, and with him not being here, it's like you know, eh, we we kind of like losing memory of him. He becoming like I mean I know he's not one of the main characters or whatever he like uh, a recurring character or whatever whatever that stuff mean like he's not gonna be here all the episodes but like could you please like at least make an appearance or something it could have been him that came to her door instead of Aaron because we know Aaron is really in game Aaron is in game we gotta we gotta we, we really gotta know that Aaron is in game so why not give like Luca uh, this season to establish it, especially knowing that you got renewed for another season. Why wouldn't y'all, you know, give Luca this season after Cash to, like, get her little, you know, her little experience out. So then it becomes like, you know, we've been wanting this relationship for a long time. And now it kind of feel like, you know, dang, they just handed her to, to Aaron, bro. They, they handing her to him, basically. And it's not really going to be no fight. I guess you could call the Cash thing a little fight because he was all lonely and stuff. But... We all know it was supposed to be Luca and Aaron that were competing for Zoe Love. We all knew that. But, you're never supposed to text X. That's basically what they was telling Zoe to hop back into the episode. And she's like, you know, I didn't know that. She didn't She didn't know the rules. How you? I don't get it. Like, in Blackish, she was like, she was the, she was everything. Like, she knew everything. And now, now that she in college, it's like, you know, she really kind of getting a taste of, like, what life is really like. Not that high school life. Um... And I was like, dang, man, you ain't did nothing. You ain't like Aaron right now. Uh, but, yeah, Aaron came in for the, he, he came in for the kill. Because he, he playing this real good. He was like, you know what, I'm, I'm bringing, I'm bringing, I'm bringing a, uh, the wine here or whatever they was drinking, champagne. I'm bringing champagne here and a candle and it's no lights on. He trying to smash, Zoe. He trying to smash. But the girls was there and Vivek, like, how, how both of y'all know to do that? How did both of y'all know to do that? He was banging, he was knocking on the girl's door, talking about some. Are you lonely tonight? Or something like that. But it was, it was just like the, you know, the episode about you know the one night stands and stuff. That could have been in that episode. Like that was hilarious. I love that. So basically, when the girls shut all that stuff down with Aaron, cause they knew what he was gonna be on. Aaron and Vivek went into the room, and then Zoe came back cause they took her phone and she went out to like you know calm down and stuff. And when they came back, they get to talking and stuff, and they talking about, like, you know, how the men get over breakups and stuff. They're like, you know, we hurt, too. We just try not to show it. Vivek, he he go to the gym and he work out, so when he sweat, it's, it, like, it's not going to look like he crying. Because, you know, he ain't, he ain't crying. Like, he, he, he ain't crying. You know, it's just sweat that's just right there. Like, somebody got to spot him, though. He was, he, was, he was crying in, but, you know, somebody got to spot him. Uh, um, Aaron, like, you know, we hurt too. We just don't, you know, we, we, we try to get out there. You know, we, we still try to hook up with the girls just to, you know, like, kind of numb the pain. That's what basically Vivek and them was talking about. Like, you know, we do other stuff to cope with it. We try not to really show our emotions, but we do hurt too, basically. And I'm like, you know, I get that. I get that a lot because we do do that. We do use other things to cope with our problems. So everybody leaves the room except for Zoe and Aaron and I'm like, oh God, y'all really gonna hand, hand him her? Y'all really gonna hand him her? Like for real? But Aaron, you stupid. You stupid. You, you, you know what you're doing, bro. 
So basically, they get to talking and all that, and he trying to do his little smooth stuff, but he ain't smooth. I ain't gonna lie, Cash was smooth this, this whole series. He was smooth. He knew how to get to Zoe. So basically, Aaron trying to smooth talk, like, you know, you, you, you so much more, you worth so much more, you want the only person in a relationship worth being with and all that. She's a great girl, and she's all down on herself, like, you know, who gonna love me? Who's, who, who, who's gonna love me? Like, in a precious thing, when she was like, who's gonna love me? That's how Zoe was. Uh, and then Aaron, he's basically like trying to, you know, he, he trying to, he trying to slide in them DMs right now. But in person. And, ba and he slipped up too. Cause Cash, he's seeing this girl called Zoe Kravitz. And he's like, you know, it's such a cliche, Zoe Kravitz. She like, what you mean? What you mean? Then we go to commercial break. We come back, Aaron over there with a pillow just dying. Cause he like, oh man. Cause he, he was trying to, he was trying to slide in them DMs and that went terribly wrong. So, basically, Zoe got her phone back from the girls because they took it from her because they're like, you know, you ain't texting cash on our watch. So she got the phone. She like, I'm going to call him. I'm going to yell at him. I'm going to beat him. All this type of stuff. And so she went in there. She went in the uh, room where they go like the, I think that's the rec room. It's called the rec room or something like that. She went in there. She got the contact ready. She was finna press it. And then it go into like this thing where like, we didn't know it at first, but she called him. He was like outside the room, finna go in there. It was basically her perfect version of what would happen to get them back together. He basically was like, I'm wrong. You know, I'm sorry. I made a big mistake. Be with me because I only want to be with you. I love you. All this type of stuff. And, and this and that and that. And then it's just like, it's basically how she would perfectly want it to happen. Until we figure out it didn't happen. Like, I was, y'all don't know. I was, let me get up a personal with y'all. I was so mad. I was so mad. Because I'm like, really? Really? I thought this was a two or three week episode, whatever, relationship. Y'all know. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I started clapping. I started clapping when I, when I realized that I'm like, you know, this, this ain't even real. This ain't real. This is just her version of what would have perfectly happened. And so she ended up, you know, deleting his contact number and not even calling him because she like, it's not even worth it. She got to move on. You know, it's 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 cool, you know, let that she let that hurt go, but she realized that it took time in order for her to realize, you know, everybody's not perfect and people break up for reasons. It may not be, you know, it may be good reasons, bad reasons, anything, but you know, she got to let that hurt go. And she did. So she went back in the room with the girls and the power came back on and they just started, you know, drinking and having fun again. And then the episode ends with everybody just like doing, it was like this little music video or whatever of them just like having fun and, you know, being friends. And this episode was great to me. I love this episode because it was just jam-packed with a whole bunch of rules. Aaron dry snitching, Vivek with the comedy. Nomi, you are a savage, G. I forgot to mention Nomi and the twins. Nomi and the twins, y'all was the hero this episode. You know, Aaron tried to play hero, but y'all was the hero because y'all really stepped up and y'all was like, you know, we going to get our girl and we going to make sure she good because that's our girl. And I'm like, dang, man, y'all some real good friends. But overall, I love this episode. Wish we would have seen the... Um, Luca, I was trying to say Vivek, but we saw Vivek. Wish we would have seen Luca, you know, to like make the dynamic interesting of both of them trying to get her when she's single. That's what I think it should focus. I think they should give like the little love aspect of the show like a week, two week break, just for us to you know like really kind of be like, dang, who she like now, and then have both of them come and try to fight for her. Her go for Luca right now for like the rest of this season, and then like it, it transition with them like not really working out that well. You know, I Cash and her had a bad breakup. Her and Luca could really you know have a subtle breakup where he like you know you really want Aaron. Then that's when she go to Aaron, and then they go from there, whatever. That's how I see the stuff playing out in my head. How I thought it was gonna play out. But yeah, I love this episode. This was one of my favorite episodes. It's probably up there. Yeah, it's 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 it's. It. <laughs> It's either one or two. It's just a toss-up. Either one or two. But I love this episode. I hope y'all loved it, too. I hope y'all loved the review. Make sure y'all live tweet with me next Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And we just gonna be lit again. Free form like my tweet, so I mess with y'all. I know y'all mess with King Brando. Y'all love me. So, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe right now if you're new to the channel. Like the video. Comment other, other TV shows, other stuff y'all want me to review. You know, I do reaction videos too if you want me to react to some. Comment other stuff y'all want me to react to. And yeah, be your boy King Brando. Join the Brando fam by subscribing. We are the Brando fam. Like, like we finna hit 1,000 subscribers. We're about to hit 1,000 subscribers.
Do y'all not realize that that is a big milestone for a small YouTuber? Like, it started off little, but we gonna keep growing. We gonna keep growing because we gonna be lit. Join the Brando fam. Subscribe to the channel. I love all y'all. It's just like, you know, I forgot about one thing. You gonna join the Brando fam, but you gotta do the three clicks. You gotta like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit them post notifications. Easiest thing you ever gonna do in your life, cause you already on the app, you already on the video. You might as well like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit them post notifications, so you can see my reviews and my reactions and stuff. It's, it's, it's we just be lit, y'all. We just be lit. But it's been your boy King Brando. Peace. Yeah.